what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video so in this video tutorial today we are going to be discussing how you can turn your initial hundred dollar into two thousand dollar in a single trade trading on the spot trading this spot trading strategy i'm going to be showing you is simply by identifying the coin that is about to be listed on binance then you can now apply the right strategy to it and it can make you up to 20x of your capital simply by doing that so i have actually compiled everything in one video so i can show you how this strategy works so stick around grab a cup of coffee and let's quickly dive in real quick but before we dive in if you are coming across the channel for the first time you're welcome my name is daniel on this channel i make video about cryptocurrency trading and crypto trading in general both the future trading the spot trading and crypto arbitrage trading so if that sounds like what you are interested in i'll invite you to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon so that when i upload new video like this you'll be the first to watch and utilize the strategy and as well drop a like on this video i really do appreciate it okay so without further ado, let's quickly dive in real quick. So as you all know, Binance Spot Trading is about buying a coin low so that when the coin rises up, you sell high and make profit. So it has little to no risk involved in this kind of strategy. And for the matter of fact, it is very suitable for beginners. So if you are basically just starting out in the crypto space, Binance Spot Trading is the best way to get started with because of the level of simplicity that it has. As long as the Binance Spot Trading has little to no risk involved, it also has some certain risks you need to take note of. So the only risk involved in Binance Spot Trading is like when you buy a coin low, instead of the coin to keep going up, the coin now start consolidating down, you are going to be incurring losses in that scenario. But if you keep on holding the assets, there is an high probability that the coin is going to rise again in the near future for you to make your profit. But in overall, knowing the right time to buy and sell really play an important role. So you are not literally entering the market blindly and entering that particular coin blindly. So that's the main aim of this video. I'll be walking you through step by step in order for you to know the right time to get in and get off the market using the Binance Spot Trading strategy. Predominantly, there are two main ways you can make money trading on the Binance Spot Trading, how you can know the right time to buy and sell. The first one is by understanding the technical analysis. And the second one is by understanding the fundamental analysis. So I'll recommend using the fundamental analysis because in the long run, it tend to be profitable than the technical analysis. Fundamental analysis in a sense that when there is any news in the market, it will reflect on the price of the coin in general. So this is where Binance comes in in terms of the fundamentals. Because Binance is one of the leading crypto exchange out there. So when they make any move about listing a coin, it normally reflects in the price of the coin. Take an instant with this coin right here. So this coin was initially trading around 22 cents on majority of the exchanges. So when Binance announced it, look at what the coin did when Binance eventually announced it. The coin went as high as $13. So that's what I'm saying. Binance is included in the fundamentals because if they make any move about listing a coin, it normally reflects on the price of a coin. But keep in mind, don't randomly buy a coin when it got listed on Binance. Because immediately the coin got listed on Binance, the coin might have already made a huge spike to the upside. So this way the coin was initially trading on majority of the exchanges out there. So the coin was initially trading around 22 cents, 23 cents on majority of the exchanges out there. But when Binance eventually took that coin into consideration and announced the possible listing, the coin might have already made a huge spike to about 64 cents. So that's what I'm saying. Don't buy a coin when it got listed on Binance. When Binance announced the listing, the coin might have closed from here and start consolidating. 
So this strategy I'm going to be showing you will help you out to know the right time to get into the coin when it got listed already. Because the moment it got listed, the coin might have started consolidating, consolidating for a while before it eventually goes back up to eat that $13 price right there. So the strategy is pretty simple. Just follow along with the steps that is going to be shown in the video. So the strategy is pretty simple. The first step now is for you to head over to the announcement page and wait for them to announce the newly listed coin. But for the sake of this video, we are going to be using this particular coin right here for the aspect of demonstration. So I can now show you how this strategy works. But for you to find out those newly listed coins, so you can also apply the strategy to it, you have to be heading over to the announcement page and wait for them to announce the newly listed coin. To find out the newly listed coin, you have to pretty much head over to the home screen. Then you click on your profile icon at the top left corner there. Then you scroll all the way down till you find help and support. You click on it. Then you click on help center. Then you wait for it to open up. Then you scroll all the way down and click on new cryptocurrency listing. So this is the page you need to be watching out for. So for now, there is no new coin being listed. That's why I'm saying you need to be coming over here frequently and refresh this page and wait for Binance to announce the listing. So these ones are not newly listed coin. They are just like crypto pairs that is being added onto the existing coin. For you to find out the real coin that is being listed, let me show you this one as an example. If I should head over to the three page, this is what I meant by newly listed coin. So this one is written boldly and clearly that Binance will list Arbitrum. So this is what you should be watching out for if you want to get in touch with newly listed coin. These are the kind of topic you should be watching out for. Binance will list so 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 coin. So you need to be watching out for it until it got announced then you can now apply this strategy to the coin. But for the sake of this video, we are going to be sticking to the already existed coin on the Binance exchange. Like I told you, we are going to be dealing with the SNM, that one that we were using as a point of case study. So I'll be demonstrating everything here so I can show you how this strategy works. So basically, the strategy goes like this. I have switched it up to the trading view for convenience. But if you want to use the Binance chart, it is the same thing applicable. I'm just using the trading view for convenience sake. So the moment you have opened up trading view, you have to search for the coin right here and you change the time frame to one hour time frame. So that's all. I also plot out your RSI and leave it as default. The strategy I'm going to be showing you is pretty simple. I'm going to be keeping things so easy and simple so you guys don't get overwhelmed. So the strategy goes like this. We are going to be spotting what we call divergent. Divergent is when price is creating lower lows. Meanwhile, RSI is creating higher lows. So that signifies to us that price is likely going to change its momentum. So the moment the coin got announced, you have to wait and look for consolidation then you can apply something called divergent. So let's bring in something called horizontal line and we put it right there first. So the place you put your horizontal line is the lowest low that the price went. I'm not going to be classifying this candle here as a low. We are going to be trading based on this consolidation. So we are going to scroll all the way to the right side and this is where we are going to be putting our horizontal line. So what we are basically waiting for now is price to basically break through this low and look at the RSI. What was the RSI doing currently around this first low? RSI was basically going about about 21.26. So we have to basically move the price forward and wait for a break of that line. So this was a clearly a break of that line. We will classify this level as a break of that line, which is basically yeah. And you can obviously see that the RSI is even going higher than. Instead of RSI to follow the direction of the market, as price broke through here, 
RSI was basically going higher highs. You can see that this current RSI during this period was higher than the initial one we had initially at that first low. So that signified to us that price is likely going to change its momentum. So at this point, after you might have spotted the divergence, the price was literally going oversold. Meanwhile, RSI was going overbought. So that signifies something called divergent. That price is likely going to change its momentum. So you would have buy the coin on here and wait for the huge pump to the upside. So you can see that the price likely pump right after the divergent. If you want to go ahead right now to trade this coin, I will advise you apply something called divergent as usual. So now we add a clear low as usual again right here so you basically have to put the line right there and you wait for a break of that line so i will have to scroll all the way down so we are going to be waiting for price to break through this line then we can now apply something called divergent as usual so right now on this other coin called syn this coin was also listed a couple of months back but it doesn't even spike up yet as usual so you can also apply that same strategy called divergent yeah and it's my likely going to spike up to ten dollar or eleven dollar so apply something called divergence in this coin then you can watch out what the price is going to do so in the meantime i think that'll be all for now then i'll catch you up in my next one don't forget to smash the like button and sub up if you haven't already and drop a comment down below if you have any question i'll get to reply all of it in the meantime i'll catch you up in my next one Bye for now.